Welcome back to the channel, Why Not Comics, and today we got CGC submission that just came back, and we're going to see if uh, CBCS is better or CGC, so let's get started. Here we go. Let's see what it is. And I got Mark Bagley, and then I went, and uh, we got Chris Claremont to sign X-Men number one. It's a newsstand. I, that's probably like a. I'm, I was guessing that was probably like a nine nine four nine six. I was hoping for a nine eight, but probably like a nine six was what I was hoping for. And then I guessed uh, it was gonna keep the same grade. I thought uh, the CBCS and CGC was about the same, so I was I was thinking a, a nine zero for that one. So I haven't looked at the um, the graders notes or even seen what my grades are yet. My wife had it on her phone, so it was kind of a surprise for me. So this is the first time I'm gonna see it. So let's crack it up and see what we got. Right. And here's my address right here if you want to send me something. I mean, why not? Comment. Just playing. All right, let's get this baby open. Dude, this thing is not a joke. All right, here's the first book. Oh, I just seen one of the grades. And you can see his son. Uh, that's still not too, too terribly bad. All right. All right, guys, here's the book. It was a CBCS 9-0. Comment down below, you think it's gonna get a 9-0? You think it's gonna be higher? You think it's gonna lose a grade? Comment down below real quick, what do you think about CBCS versus CGC? And uh, like I said, I went ahead and got Mark Bagley to sign it. And I'm going to put it in the description below. And you can check out that video. And you can actually see me crack this baby open. It's a newsstand. Um, I just seen the grade. I'm not going to. And I actually got the custom label. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. And uh, here we go. 8.5. So it, it went down a grade. But not too bad. Um, obviously, I wish it was a 9 -0. This was actually the very first. Uh, Grady book I ever got. My wife got it for me. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's definitely staying in the PC. What's that show at? Do you remember? Charlotte. It was in Charlotte. So very cool. But like I said, so if you're if you're wondering what um, why the CBCS mm -hmm. books are going a little bit cheaper because there may be a a grade or two below uh, CGC. That's just my opinion because like I said, I did press this book. I wasn't going to, but there was a little indentation because of way this thing's stuck on there when it's in this um case it kind of put some pressure on it so i had to get that out anyways that's that one and then i got a chris claremont signature um i haven't seen this one yet Let's see what this one is first time i met chris claremont very nice guy he'll talk to you and uh we it was a pretty good line and uh let me just make sure oh i just seen the grade on this one but hey, I'm happy with that. All right, we got a newsstand signed by Chris Claremont. I got the uh, custom label, pretty cool. And like I said, it was a newsstand. I thought it would have been a little bit better, but I'm still very happy with this grade. Here we go, nine six. That's still pretty good in my opinion. Like I said, it's the very first time I've seen this book. All right, there's a little ding right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm very happy with this book, and uh, that's a, like I said, it's the first time I've seen Chris Claremont. Nine eight newsstand is probably running about three hundred and fifty dollars. It got a nine six, it's probably worth. I'm gonna say with the signature around two two fifty, but it's not about the price or how much it's worth. It's just about you know going to have a good time at the show, and uh, like I said, I'm very happy with this. Anyways, if you're enjoying the channel, ma'am. Uh, we paid eight. I actually I paid eight dollars for this book, and the signature was uh I think it was like ten dollars, fifteen. It wasn't a lot, and then I got it um, graded for like f I don't think it was a lot for both of these. I think the submission on together was right at a hundred dollars, ninety bucks. So I didn't have that much money in these books, and now it's worth about two hundred, two fifty. So that's a pretty good investment in my opinion, but it's not about the money. It's just about the time I get to spend with my kids and my family and my beautiful wife. And uh, just going to the conventions and meeting, you know, big characters or artists and all that good stuff. 
And, uh, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> hey. Here we go.